Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you're having a great Aloha Friday. Today's restaurant is Fat Cheeks, and it has moved from the Ohana Holly Marketplace to the Ward Center, um, where the old Kakaaku Kitchen used to be, right outside. When you drive into the garage area, you'll see it right there outside. Um, they used to specialize in, in like pork sandwiches, pulled pork sandwiches and such, and I've had those before uh, when they were at Ohana Holly Marketplace, but now they're just concentrating on lobster rolls and seafood rolls and such. Um, I have talked to the owner. She's a great lady. Um, her husband actually owns Gar Garibaldi's and Little G's, which I have vlogged before, and that's how I met her. She uh, said she's from Boston, so I got the Boston hat. I lived in Massachusetts for a while and had my share of lobster rolls. So let's take a taste. I'm glad that she's from Boston, so she must know what she's doing. I've heard great things about her. There was a line already about five people in before they even opened. I got there early, five minutes early, and there was already a line. So it is pretty popular. So let's get into the food. So the first thing I got was the famous lobster roll. There's two types. The one that most of you guys know, which is the cold mayo tossed lobster roll. But if you actually uh, live in Massachusetts or in the, are in the Boston area, Rhode Island area, a lot of the people swear and they will argue with you that a lobster roll should just be tossed in plain butter. And that's it with a little bit of lemon. And, um, you know, there might be a little fight about that, but she's got it. And I'm going to have the pure lobster roll just in butter. So like a dumbass, I forgot my memory card in my Sony camera. So um, we're doing this over the phone. This is the lobster roll, the uh, warm butter lobster roll, the original. Let's take a taste of it. It's got the nice New England bun, which is pretty much like a hot dog bun with no sides. They cut the sides off. They do that with their hot dogs as well. Don't ask me why, but that's the way it is there. So looks nice and buttery. Mmm. Delicious. It's nice and warm. Buttery throughout. The bread is buttery. The lobster is buttery. Real big chunks of lobster. Like, look at this. This is like a whole claw. Definitely messy to eat, though. Very greasy, but delicious. I squeezed a bit of lemon on it, and it just gives it a really nice brightness and cuts through the butter and the um, richness of the bread. The bread is nice and toasty, but the inside soft. Brings me back to New England, for sure. So with each sandwich, you get uh, free chips. They have two types of chips. They're both Maui style chips, either the Maui onion or the plain Maui chips. Um, you can add on some fries for $2, so that's what I got. Let's take a taste of the fries. comes in this little box. Really good. Crispy. Soft on the inside. Reminds me of a homemade type of fry. Not too thin like McDonald's where it's just crunchy and not soggy as well has a nice um, salty seasoning on it. Looks like they use just like garlic salt because it's got a little parsley in there. Definitely goes good with the uh, lobster roll or any other sandwich you might pick. I definitely give this a thumbs up, two thumbs up. Very delicious. Very generous on the lobster too. If you're a purist, you definitely want to go with the warm buttered lobster sandwich. That is the typical New England style. Or if you're used to, to the um, regular mayo tossed one, they have it as well. So go for that. Either or, whatever you prefer. I think this is a awesome sandwich from Fat Cheeks. Definitely a great lobster roll. So with the lobster roll, with the fries, that costs $18. And I'm going to say that is the cheapest uh lobster roll here in Hawaii. They tend to be very expensive, but it's not just the cheapest. You want quality too, and it is one of the better ones on the island. I think it was really good for the money. So this would be my winner in terms of value and taste. In terms of total taste, I would say Feast was also up there, but the downer is the price, and the price just keeps going up. I think the last time I did the video it was $27, $28 for a roll with the fries, but now I heard it's over $30. So 
you know, people can't afford that kind of stuff. And it's a once in a while thing. But if you have that lobster addiction, this is not bad. 18 bucks. And if you don't want to get the fries and you want the chips that just come with it, with the full price, it is only 15 bucks. So that's a really, really good deal for a real lobster and a lot of lobster in your roll. So it's a great deal. So up next is a clam chowder and it's supposedly a very good clam chowder. We'll see. Let's take a taste of it. Looks nice and thick and it's topped with a bunch of bacon. Um, smells delicious. I got a small cup. You can get a large cup. I've seen people uh, that ordered after me get the large. It looks like a pretty huge bowl, but this should suffice me. Mmm. Very creamy. Delicious. Big chunks of clam in here. Very generous. I'm talking not that canned clam stuff. I just bit into this bit really thick clam. I'm not sure if you can see that, but just chopped really thick. You can really taste the clamness, clamminess of it, I guess, that nice chew and the taste of the sea. What I love about it is it really does bring you back to New England because the clam chowder that you usually get at other restaurants or um, in the can, even if they're good, they don't have the herb taste. So um, if you get a good traditional New England clam chowder, it has that thyme taste. And I do see a lot of thyme in here, the little specks of green. So it gives it that herbal deliciousness that goes well with the creaminess. And it's nice and thick, hearty. Every time I put a spoonful in my mouth, there is chunks of clam. So definitely not stingy with the clams at all. There's a little bit of potato in here. Take a taste of that. Mm. Man, that's good. The uh, potatoes cook perfect. Just melts in your mouth. It's not undercooked. I would say if you're here on a rainy day in the ward area, this would be a great meal with this hot clam chowder. Very delicious, very thick and filling. And you can't go wrong if you like clam chowder, definitely check it out. I'm gonna give kudos to her because she really brought New England to Hawaii. This, if you ever taste it, you'll see the difference when I'm talking about the thyme and the herbs. It reminds me of just being there. And even that, just that Thanksgiving kind of feel too, because during Thanksgiving, my uh, roommate would take me to her grandmother's house in Maine and they would put that kind of herb or thyme in the turkey. And it just reminds me of like Thanksgiving as well. For the price of the small clam chowder, it is eight ounces to be precise. It is $4. So I thought that was also very, very uh, inexpensive in terms of quality and the deliciousness of it. Like I said, every bite I got a good piece of clam and they are real clams and not the stuff you probably get from a can. So um, definitely a deal for fresh New England clam chowder. All right, next up is our last showcase is the crab sandwich i wanted to pick something different for those that might not like lobster she's got crab sandwiches shrimp sandwiches she's also got a spicy shrimp bisque if you don't like clam chowder you can try that soup there's also um crawfish sandwiches so very interesting you can get a lobster burger if you don't want it in a roll they'll put it in a burger form so um this is tossed in the traditional way that people think a lobster roll should be with the mayo and a little bit of celery um, smells delicious. It's just blue crab, I suppose, in the same bun. So excited to try this one out as well. Um, I don't even know how to tackle this, but let's go. Again, buttery roll. The crab is nice and soft. All this is crab. It is not filler. It's just plain blue crab, a delicious fresh taste. Mm. not fishy at all has enough mayo where it's not mayoed down you still get the crab taste and sometimes you get that little hint of green onion and celery that brightens it up i think it, this one just goes so well with this buttery roll um it's a cold sandwich but it just i don't know how to explain it it just complements everything well you just got to try it for yourself i'm a crab fan 
And I'm going to say, actually, even though the lobster roll was very, very generous in the meat and everything, this would actually override that. This has more complex flavors to me. It just all melts together with that same lobster roll butteriness uh, of the sandwich uh, roll. It just, I don't know, I like it better. If you're a crab lover, but you hate taking crabs apart and all that shells, this is for you. Look at all this crab meat and you don't have to peel any crabs or deal with the mess. It's all in one sandwich. It tastes like it also has like old bay seasoning or some kind of celery salt. So it has that nice um, just complexity of flavors just going on in the sandwich with the light mayo and everything. Very, very delicious. And I highly recommend this sandwich. This is a winner for sure. I really like this one. And with that crab sandwich, I didn't get fries since I got fries with my lobster roll. You get free chips. So this is the Mau Maui style chips. I like plain chips, so I just got the plain. I'll dig into those later because I'm going to finish my fries. But the price for the crab roll with the chips is $12. So I think that's a really good deal and the chips just come with it. There's no extra add-on. You just add on if you're adding on fries. But if you just want chips and a crab roll, that's a pretty good deal to me for fresh seafood. All right, so that's my wrap up of my showcase of Fat Cheeks. I hope you enjoyed it. The reason I kind of went here, it's been on my list for a while, but I just never got to go to it uh, for, I don't know what reasons. I just have so many places on my list. But my friend just kept posting like this week, he went twice here. So um, he loves it so much. I'm like, I gotta go and check this out. And yeah, it lived up to the hype. I really enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed the taste. I believe it's authentic. And obviously she's from Boston, so she makes a good, lobster roll, crab roll, and I'm sure all the other things on her menu are great, and her New England clam chowder is a home run. So um, definitely check it out. It's right, like I said, when you enter the Ward Center, it's right in the front. Is it Ward Warehouse or Ward Center? I get confused. I know they knocked down the other one, but whatever. You know, the only shopping center on Ward um, that's left that used to have Ryan's, I believe. We used to go here all the time at Ryan's and Compadre's, but it's over there where Kakaako Kaka Kitchen used to be on the bottom. When you enter the garage area, you'll see it right there. The weird thing is, I'm just gonna give you a tip. You might be confused. You gotta go inside and order, which is nice because it's air conditioning. And once you get your little buzzer thing, you have to go out the door and wait outside. So it might be confusing if you go and uh, you know stand around outside and you're wondering, what the heck, how do I order? And where's the menu? It's actually inside. So, um, which is nice because you can sit outside, there's a bunch of tables and just wait. And there's a nice cool breeze today. It wasn't too hot. And you get to see your order uh, being packaged together. And then the buzzer goes off. It only takes about 10 minutes. And you get your food in a nice little package. So definitely check them out. I'll see you again in another food adventure and take care everybody, be safe. Press the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, share it if you want, um, and I'll see you again. Peace out.